Hey everyone, Forrest here with Rocky Mountain School of Photography. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important check marks in all of Lightroom Classic. A check mark that, if turned on, can prevent you from losing important edits you've made to your photographs. Interested? Let's go ahead and take a look. So in order to understand this checkbox, we first have to understand how Lightroom Classic works and how adjustments work in the program. By default, when you make a change to a photo in Lightroom, brighter, darker, more saturation, less saturation, that change or edit is not written into the original file itself. Instead, it's stored in your Lightroom catalog. Your Lightroom catalog is a simple file that lives somewhere on your computer or external hard drive, and its job is to store these edits. Now that all sounds well and good, the problem is what if you one day delete that Lightroom catalog, either by accident or your computer dies or something like that? Well, theoretically, you might still have your pictures, but all of the edits you've ever made to those photographs will be gone. And that to me scares me. What I wanna do is I wanna show you guys a check mark that we can turn on, and when turned on, edits will still be stored in the catalog, but Lightroom will also back up the edits to the photos themselves. Now I need to hammer home something very important. This does not make Lightroom a destructive editing program. When we turn this check mark on, it simply tells Lightroom to back up the edit, to put a little note, a little sticky note, if you would, on the back of your digital images that are a little backed up copy of what the edits actually were. Let's go ahead and look at how to do it. All we've got to do to turn this on is go into Lightroom Classic and Catalog Settings. PC folks, you guys would go to Edit Catalog Settings. We get into the Catalog Settings box and then in that box, we're gonna to go to the Metadata tab and we're gonna turn on this little box that says Automatically Write Changes into XMP. Now you'll notice by default, this box is not checked and that's because when turning this on, the computer has to do an extra thing. It's gotta back up that edit that you've made. And that can slow down the performance of Lightroom a little bit. So the Adobe engineers have decided basically that they want Lightroom to run as quickly as possible, so they default to having this off. I highly recommend you turn this on, and I turn this on as the first step whenever I create a new Lightroom catalog because I want those edits safe if for something was to ever happen to my catalog file. Now, it's important to note that this is not a retroactive change. It's not like we turn this on and now Lightroom goes back through the history of all your images and writes those changes into XMP. So if you've been using Lightroom for five years and you just now turned this on, you're gonna need to go back and write the changes to the XMP for all of your past photos. And that can be done super easily as well. So all we've gotta to do to do this retroactively is very easily go into the catalog panel, go to all photographs, and then go edit select all to select every picture that's in our Lightroom catalog. From there, we're just gonna to go to the metadata panel and we're gonna to go to save metadata to files. And that's gonna tell Lightroom to go back through all of your previous years and years and years of images and take those changes you've made, those edits you've made, it's gonna look in the Lightroom catalog to see what edits those were and it's gonna, again, like I said, put a little sticky note, as it were, on the back of your each photo with a little backup of what the slider positions were. So that if that catalog was ever to get corrupted or deleted or something like that, but you still had access to the original images, you would also have your changes. And again, like I said before, this is a non-destructive thing. It's not like your images are permanently gonna change. You still retain all of that nice non-destructive Lightroom workflow that you've come to know and love. So I hope this was helpful to you. This is again, one of those things that I always turn on for people's computers. It makes Lightroom maybe 2% slower, but it has a huge impact if you ever have trouble with your catalog down the road. So if you guys found any value in this video, I would love you to hit that like button and consider subscribing. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section down below, and I hope to see you in a future video. Thanks, everybody.